trade between China and the ten states that make up the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, or ASEAN, has soared in recent years, from around $60 billion in 2003 to more than $190 billion last year. And the new free trade zone is expected to remove tariffs on the vast majority of traded goods, a move that will increase that trade even more. Exports from ASEAN nations to China are expected to increase by almost 50%, with China's exports to ASEAN increasing by 55%. And fruit retailers in the southern province of Guangxi are amongst those set to benefit from the free trade zone. Before 2004, foreign fruit was very expensive. We began importing fruit from overseas that year, and I expect the prices will fall even more. The free trade zone is also expected to lead to better cooperation in fields such as investment, education, sports and tourism. We expect that the establishment of the free trade zone will bring more and more international financial cooperation into both China and ASEAN nations. The zone will rank behind only the European Economic Area and the North American Free Trade Area in trade volume and will encompass nearly two billion people, around a third of the entire world's population. And it is expected to help ASEAN countries increase exports, especially of commodities that China wants. The zone hasn't been welcomed by everyone, however. Manufacturers in Southeast Asia are concerned that relatively inexpensive Chinese goods may flood their markets once import taxes are removed. Those backing the zone, however, insist that for most people, it will prove a huge benefit. Fergus Thompson, BON.